Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Luke and I are wanting to um, do a product review on the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. So, um, as you guys all know from watching my previous videos, Mr. Man here has a lot of problems sleeping. He um, doesn't eat very well, which translates to not being able to sleep very well. Um, he currently is, you know, when he was a baby, like a little, little guy, he would sleep a good um, four hours or more um, in between, you know, when he fell asleep and when he would wake up to eat. Now, unfortunately, hold on one second here. Um, computer's about to die. I got to plug it in. Um, he, unfortunately, would, um, has stopped doing that. A lot of it has to do with the um, reflux. Babies with reflux typically don't sleep very well in general anyways. Um, but a lot of it, too, also has to do with his four-month sleep regression. We were hit very, very hard with that. Um, and specifically the two of us. Daddy gets to sleep. No problem. Um, but Luke here, this little guy, and Mama don't sleep very much. He wakes up between... Um, every 30 minutes to every hour, hour and a half to eat at night. Um, it's really, really hard. Hey, did you poop? Pretty sure you pooped. Um, so I did some research and because, you know, I was exhausted. I would only sleep for maybe three or four hours a night total from the time he went to bed until he was just up. Um, so I did some research and I found the Baby Ma Merlin Magic Sleep Suit. Um, now this is a sleep suit that was designed by a mom who uh, was looking for a product to help transition her children from um, the swaddle blanket into, you know, not swaddling essentially. Um, and she created the magic sleep suit and it, it's amazing, let me tell you. Um, so here it is right here. Um, well, kind of. I have the little flap down. Let's fix it. Luke loves it, as you can see. Um, I ordered it in yellow, and this is the small for um, 12 to 18 pounds, which is perfect for about three to six months. Um, here it is. I ordered the micro fleece one. It's got a very soft um, outer layer, and then the inside is really soft cotton, um, and there's a polyfill layer in between. Um, so basically what I do is I put Luke in it um, just in a onesie because it's thick enough that it will keep him warm without needing additional blankets or um, really anything more than just a onesie underneath. Um, so I unzip it, I put him in, and I zip him back in it. Um, and he... Um, pretty much loves it. The first night I put him in it, he um, it was playing in it. He just thought it was fun. And I went, I left the room for just a few minutes. I came back and he was passed out. He didn't wake up for four hours and I was amazed. I, of course, didn't sleep because I was waiting for him to wake up. Um, but he slept for a solid four hours. Um, he woke up to eat and then slept for another three hours, woke up to eat and then slept for another two. Um, so that was the, probably the most sleep he has had um, in quite a few months. Um, so we put him in it again the next night, and again, he slept really, really well. Um, the third night, he did have a major poop explosion and pooped in it. So um, the third night, we couldn't... He didn't sleep in it because it was in the washer, but um, the fourth night he really did really well with it again. Um, so a few notes that I did notice is, number one, you want this neckline to lie flat against the skin. Um, if it's puckered up, it's going to be too big and there's a risk for suffocation. So you definitely want it you know, flush against the skin. Um, 
<laughs> um, I did notice that for, specifically for him um, that he has, I don't know if you guys can tell, he has really long arms. So when his little shoulders are in here, the arms are a little bit shorter um, on him, so they don't go quite to his wrist. They go, they stop, you know, stop about here. But that's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, and then his legs, he's got really stumpy little legs, so the, le the legs were kind of long on him. But that's okay. It's just you know, it's just the way the baby was born. Um, you know, nothing to do with the product at all, um, and it doesn't affect the outcome of the product at all. Um, I did notice that um, one thing that the the baby Merlin's magic sleep suit is really good for is that it muffles mm. the um, startle reflex. You know, when the babies kind of do scary hands. Um, and any kind of fidgeting that they have that will wake them up at night, it kind of muffles it and tones it down a lot. Um, I don't know. It definitely did tone it down a lot for Luke, but he was still able to fidget enough that he would kind of squirm at night and wake himself up occasionally if he wasn't all the way asleep. Um, but once I got him completely to sleep, he was fine. Um, a couple of quick notes on the um, sleep suit is that it is designed for back sleeping only. It is not for tummy sleeping. If your baby can roll over in the sleep suit um, or sleeps on their tummy, it's definitely recommended that you don't use it. Um, it is also um, you best used in the crib, um, not when you're co-sleeping. So if you are co-sleeping, it's recommended also that you don't use it. Um, they do offer the, the sleep suit in the fleece. There's um, blue, yellow, and pink. They also have um, a cotton version, which is um, not quite as warm um, as the fleece one is, but um, it's really good for warmer climates. We live in, I live in Colorado, so um, it gets very, very cold here. So it's perfect for that. Um, another thing that I liked, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is that um, if I'm out and about at night, and I know it's getting close to Luke's bedtime, I can go ahead and put him in the sleep suit and put it in the car seat, um, and then just put him in the um, crib when we get home. So I don't have to wake him up or anything. It's, um, it's a nice transition piece. Um, for when he's sleeping. Um, we have been able to slightly lower the temperature in the house at night because he is um, in the sleep suit now so we don't need to keep the room quite as warm because as you all know um, blankets are not recommended in cribs because of the risk of um, suffocation. Um, so um, yeah, they um, do mention on the website also that if um, you don't see um, any improvement in sleep, to not give up, to just keep trying. You can, you know, put it away for a week and then try it again. Um, some babies take a little bit longer to um, use the sleep suit um, to become accustomed to it and to really feel all of that um, stuff. Of course, you're going to use your best judgment when you're choosing a size. Um, you know, my little man right now is only 15 pounds, so the small is, you know, he's going to be 15 pounds for a little while. The small was perfect for us. Um, I wouldn't anticipate, even though he, once he gets to 18 pounds, you know, he's still kind of tiny. I'd probably leave him in it for a little bit longer, um, but they do, the, the large is from 18 pounds up. Um, so, um, well, not up, just to 21 pounds, so um, there is a little bit of leeway there with sizing kind of use your judgment if your baby fits in it then it's probably still okay if it's too tight um, or really loose then you might want to either wait a little bit don't puke on it please or um, get the next size up so um, all in all we definitely have seen a drastic improvement in Luke's sleep schedule um, being on in the sleep suit at night. We would definitely highly recommend it to anybody who um, is transitioning into the crib, um, anybody that's transitioning out of the swaddle, um, anybody looking for a warmer sleep suit that um, than just pajamas alone without using blankets. Um, I would recommend it 
pretty much to anybody for any reason um, that you can think of. What do you think of it, buddy? You like it? Um, so, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit, you can, um, and our experience with it, you can feel free to leave a comment below. I will leave a link to the Baby Merlin's company um, down in the description box where you can purchase the sleep suits yourself. And I look forward to hearing any of your guys' um, experiences with them. Have a good day. Bye.